Limache in central Italy is one of the 20 regions of the country that most people have never heard of. That's a shame, because once you realise what Limache has to offer, you'll wonder why this hidden gem has gone unnoticed for so long. But then again, is that the very reason why it is still a hidden gem? To help you determine the answer to that, here are 24 interesting, helpful and fun facts of Lemarque in Italy as follows. Number 1. Lemarque translates into English as the Marches, and the name is in reference to the medieval Marches or lands of Ancona, Camarina and Fermo. Number 2. The region is bordered by Emilia Romagna and the Republic of San Marino to the north, the Adriatic Sea to the east, Abruzzo and Lazio to the south, Umbria to the southwest, and Tuscany to the west. Number three, it is the 15th largest region in Italy. Number four, the local people are referred to as the Marchigiani. Number five, the Marche is the epicenter of Italian dialects. In Italy, 13 different dialects have been identified and are grouped into three main categories. Limarche is the only region where all three main categories of dialect are spoken. Number six, it covers an area of just under 10,000 square kilometers, nearly 4,000 square miles. Number seven, the longest river of the region is the Mitaro, of 121 kilometers, about 75 miles. Number eight, Monte Batori, at just under 2,500 metres high, just over 8,000 feet, is the highest peak in the region, situated in the Escoli Pugino province. Number 9. There are five provinces of Le Marche. 1. Ancona. The capital of Le Marche is also called Ancona, which is the region's main seaport and airport. The province reaches from the Adriatic Sea to the Apennine Mountains and is well known for its delicious truffles and quality wines such as Montepulciano, Sangiovese and Verdicchio. 2. Ascoli Piccino At the southern end of Le Marche is the province of Ascoli Piccino. It epitomises the world of extremes with ski slopes to race down in the morning and beaches to relax on in the afternoon. The history of Le Marche is celebrated in the town of Ascoli Piceno on the first Sunday of August with the Torneo della Fontana, a medieval themed festival and night tournament where costumes, games and food to the 15th century are showcased. 3. Fermo Known as the jewel of Le Marche, the province of Fermo has many stunning views and landscapes to admire. There are plenty of outdoor activities to enjoy with many historical events in towns and villages to attend. 4. Maturata Known for its medieval villages and countryside, the province has two protected natural reserves at Abadia di Fiastra and Turicchio. The famous poet Giacomo Leopardi of the 19th century was born in Macanati in Maturata. Maturata is also a key furniture manufacturing area and a producer of cereals. 5. Pissarro and Urbino This province is known for its artistic and natural sites including two UNESCO World Heritage sites being Urbino and the house of Giacchino Rossini in Pissarro. The University of Urbino is a world-class institution founded in the year 1506 and is well known for language studies especially learning Italian. Number 10 it is home to nearly 30 blue flag beaches. This makes the eastern coastal resorts very popular for safe bathing and swimming and for sailing, as witnessed by many marinas along the coastline. The most popular are located on the Conero Riviera, the sandy beaches and crystal clear water. Number 11. There are many caves. One of the most impressive cave systems in Europe is found 25 miles to the west of Ancona, called Grotti di Fasassi. 
Discovered in 1971, it is now open to the public. It features underground lakes and spectacular stalactites and stalagmites. The caves are over 11 miles long with a 1.5 km trail for visitors to explore. One of the caves, called the Encano Abyss or the Grotta Grande de Rento, the large wind cave, is about 200 metres high, 180 metres wide and 120 metres long. It can host events including weddings. Number 12. The Mountains With La Marque having the Adriatic Sea on its eastern side and the Apennine Mountains and the Sibyllini Mountains, which extend into Umbria along its interior borders to choose from, you get the best of both worlds. For such a small region, it makes it a very desirable place to visit and live in. To discover even more reasons why Le Marque is proving to be very enticing for people wanting to visit, work and live here, quickly check out the ongoing collection of news, reports, resources and courses on this channel as will make your introduction to expat life in Italy and the Dolce Vita even sweeter. It's so easy. Just click on the subscribe button below and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you don't miss out on future videos being uploaded. Plus, watch this video to the very end where you'll get access to a special report packed full of helpful ideas for when you visit or consider living in Italy. And now for 12 more interesting, helpful and fun facts about the Marche in Italy. Number 13. Beautiful and stunning villages and towns. Over 20 of the most beautiful villages in Italy are in Le Marche, making them ideal places to visit and live in. For example, Jingali is located near the border of the Maturata and Ancona provinces and is known as the Balcony of Le Marche for its glorious views. Then there is the stunning town of Loreto, a popular Christian pilgrimage site being the equivalent to Lourdes in France. And then you have Aquaviva Picena, which boasts a magnificent 13th century castle, regarded as one of the most dominant in the region. Number 14. The Castles Continuing with the theme of castles, Guadara Castle in the village of Guadara, not far from San Marino, is perched on a hilltop 465 feet high that is likened to being depicted from a fairy tale. It was voted the most beautiful village in Italy in 2018. The poet Dante included the castle in his famous poem, The Divine Comedy, and the castle, built between the 11th and 14th century, is now a symbol for lovers owing to the tragic love affair which took place there. Another castle to visit is Rocca Reveresca in the town of Senegalia on the coast. Number 15. Art. Le Marque has a rich history in art, with Raphael, one of the most well-known Renaissance artists, born in Urbino. In the town, you can also view works by other artists, such as Piero della Francesca and Luciana Lurana. Number 16. Music. Another famous son of Le Marque from Pissarro is the composer, Giacchino Rossini, known as the Mozart of Italy. His music has featured in TV shows such as Looney Tunes and Seinfeld, as well as in many films and operas including The Barber of Seville, Cinderella and The Italian Girl in Algiers. The style of his music was referred to as the Rossini Crescendo because of the way his musical scores built up to a dramatic finale. Up until his retirement in 1829, he was the most well-known opera composer of his time. Since his death, every August, the Rossini Opera Festival takes place. Visitors to Pissarro can now enjoy the Rossini experience and listen to performances put on by the city's Conservatorio Rossini, which is home to more than 700 musicians and composers. Number 17. Not many tourists. Le Marche is relatively unknown, with English not spoken in many places. To experience life in Le Marche, you need to be willing to converse in Italian. Number 18. Earthquakes The southern area of Le Marche has suffered with two devastating earthquakes in recent years, so the Dolce Vita lifestyle is subjected to the wrath of Mother Nature from time to time. Number 19. San Marino San Marino is a tiny country referred to as the 
most serene republic of San Marino, as it's surrounded by views of the mountains and the sea. It's one of the wealthiest countries in the world in terms of GDP, gross domestic product, per capita, as well as being the smallest nation in the European Union. You can shop tax-free there, ideal for buying expensive and luxury goods. It's the third smallest independent state in Europe after Vatican City and Monaco. With a population of 35,000 inhabitants, San Marino is situated between Emilia-Romagna and Le Marche on the slopes of Mount Titano. Number 20. Shoes and more shoes. Le Marche is the birthplace for making shoes in Italy. About 30% of the total shoe production of Italy is from the region. The shoe valley in Le Marche is not only the oldest district for the craft, but it's also regarded as one of the best places for shoe manufacturing across the globe, dating back to 1901. It's reckoned that Shoe Valley in Le Marche invented modern shoemaking. What makes Italian shoes stand out though is their higher quality and Made in Italy branding on the leather soles. The area's success was built on the boom of economic prosperity after the Second World War when farmers became craftsmen to produce high quality footwear. Most of the shoe production of today is centred around Ascoli, Piceno and Maturata. Number 21. Shopping. The San Marino offering tax-free products and high-grade leather shoes and goods manufactured in the region, shopping takes on a whole new meaning for many people. There are also a large number of designer factory outlets such as Armani, Prada and Todd's. The region's pottery production dates back to the Renaissance period and the world-famous paper of Fabriano is also made here. Number 22. Michelin Star Restaurants Currently, there are nine Michelin Star restaurants in Le Marque, all reasonably affordable. Sounds ideal for arranging a food and wine tour of the region. Number 23. The food of Le Marque Le Marque has its own food culture, going back thousands of years, with the many ancient preparation and cooking methods remaining to this day. So, to whet your appetite, here are some of the foods and dishes Le Marque is well known for. 1. Ascolana Tanera Olives These are regarded as a local delicacy snack native to the province of Ascoli Piceno. They are green olives that have been pitted, filled with ground meat of pork or beef, and sometimes cheese, then battered with beaten egg and breadcrumbs and fried in sunflower oil. 2. A typical seafood dish is Brodetto, a classic fish stew. This is celebrated in the beachside town of Fano in July each year. Brodetto is a tomato-based soup containing large pieces of different fish that are marinated in a citrus and vinegar broth. Traditionally, 13 pieces of fish are used, being one piece for each person at the Last Supper. An ideal white wine to accompany the soup is a local verdicchio. The dish originated as a way to provide local fishermen with a proper meal and to avoid wasting the morning's catch that didn't sell in the market that day. 3. Seafood plays a big part in diet. Specialities include grilled and fried calamari, squid, marinated anchovies, mussels and spaghetti with clams, plus there's even a fish version of the Escalana olives described earlier. 4. The area is famous for a spreadable salami. 5. The production of pecorino cheese varies in taste depending on the method and area of production. 6. The region is famous for truffles, especially the white truffle which is found in Monte Peltro and in the Pissarro uplands. A pairing of the truffles with the region's pasta is called passatelli. 7. Piadina, a popular Italian street food flatbread sandwich. 8. Award-winning olive oil from Cartocetto. Here, you can get it straight from the farmers themselves. 9. Sunflower oil. One enduring image of Le Marque is that of the sunflower fields in the early part of summer, which provides sunflower oil used in cooking and as an ingredient for beauty products 
before they're harvested in August. 10. Pork Pork is readily available and as a consequence there are many types of sausages in the Marque including the popular smoked sausage called Churrascalo seasoned with fennel seed, garlic, orange peel, pepper and salt. It can be served as an appetizer on toast or as an ingredient in stews and soups. 11. Cheeses There are four main types of cheese that are typically produced in the Marque as follows. 1. Cachotta da vino, made with either sheep or cow's milk, that is salted and cured to produce a smooth textured cheese. 2. Amber de Talamello, made from goat or sheep or cow's milk, cured in a straw-lined pit, giving the cheese an earthy flavour. 3. Cacciola forma de limona, made from sheep milk with lemons and then cured to give a light lemon taste. 4. Pecorino cheese. 12. Pasta. Pasta from Le Marque is made with eggs and wide noodles like lasagna. Vinci's grassi, a pasta casserole with meat sauce, is the main pasta dish of the region, best enjoyed with a glass of Rosso Pacino, a local red wine. Other pasta and pasta dishes found throughout the region include spaghetti alla Catara, spaccatini, tagliatelle and macaroncini. 13. Truffles 14. Acolagna in the province of Pisaro Urbino holds three main annual truffle fairs. The area produces nearly two thirds of the whole Italian truffle harvest, with much of it exported. 15. Crema fritta This translates to fried cream and is served with fritto misto, a mixed fried platter of lamb or lamb kebabs with courgettes, onions, and olives. The cream is set in the fridge, covered in breadcrumbs, and then deep fried on skewers. A recommended wine accompaniment is a sparkling red wine called Vernaccia. Number 24. The wine of Le Marque. Le Marque has more native grapes than any other region in the country. It boasts 12 DOC, denomination of controlled origin, and 2 DOCG, denomination of controlled and guaranteed origin, accredited wines. The region's climate, soil and geography help provide ideal grape growing conditions. Best known as a white wine producing region, it also produces high quality red wines too. The top white wines are Vadicchio and Trebbiano, whilst the top reds are Montepulciano and Sangiovese. For such a small region, Le Marque is so diverse and has so much going for it the more and more people are being attracted to its La Dolce Vita lifestyle. If you are serious about visiting or working and living in Le Marque, I highly recommend that you download and read your special guide entitled You Can Start a Brand New Life in Italy. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video, kindly leave a positive comment in the comments section below, and then please share with friends and enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe and then click the grey bell icon to join an exclusive club of subscribers to be notified of all future videos being uploaded. Until next time, ciao for now.